Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Here we go again. Here we go again. Today is the case of Imran Ahmed Khan, the first openly gay uh, Ahmadi, uh, I'd say in history, who hasn't been kicked out. They, they're all mostly secretly gay, and that's okay. You, you can. My brother Hurum Shah is probably gay. He's had he had boyfriends in high school. Um, so I mean, I grew up around it. So you know, it's there. It's it's happening. No issues there, man. Do whatever you got to do. But it's the raping part that's a problem, you know. And um, these guys will uh, see like young kids and then go after young kids. So that's the main issue. Um, is is that these guys are, are are going after children um you know that's not cool on that one i i i can't uh i can't work with you on that um i'm not willing to, to work with anyone who's on something like that but yeah so so this is the story imran Ahmed han uh mp has been guilty of uh has been found guilty of sexual assault um 15 year old boy about 10 years ago about 10 10 12 years ago something like that something like that so i'm, I'm gonna get into the story um obviously you know as everyone knows I, I keep it short sweet and simple so i'm just getting everything pulled up uh i'm gonna start with this uh bbc uh article and then we'll slowly uh check some other stuff out some other stuff that i've written about this guy so uh, let's see what kind of ride we got tonight. And I, I'm just getting the last few pieces of uh, of references here together, and then I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, just go ahead and start. So and there you go, I got them. Did that open? Yep. So here we go. So let me just share the screen. Um, and then I'll get right into this. Okay, and I hope that's working. Okay, so here you see the article. Imran Ahmed Khan, um, guilty of sexual assault on a 15-year-old boy. How, how sad is that? So he had denied it. He, he denied uh, groping a teenager at a, at a party in Staffordshire in January 2008. So here's where it gets deep. Remember, the reason this was a serious case is because the night that he did all these things to this boy that boy told his parents and they called the police and made a police report now nothing happened from it um un until they they pressured the police to do something so that's why this case has been so quick and et cetera et cetera uh because it, there was already a case it's just the uk uh courts and police didn't do anything about it so here's what he did um the young kid says that he was forced to, to drink gin. Imran Han, he meets him at a party. First, remember, he meets his brother at a party. He meets this guy's brother. And uh, the brother's 18, and they're talking about gay sex. And uh, uh, it seems like they're either about to be flipped. They're, uh, Imran Ahmed Han is trying to flip a gay. Or, well, we don't know. right? But apparently, he walks up to his brother. His brother's wearing a, 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 a kilt or a, a Scottish skirt that the men wear um and then you know the way the scottish wear it the true scottish wear it without any underwear so they're just free balling it under, under these skirts apparently and he walks up to, to this kid and well what is he doing at this party it's i think it's the kid's family's party he's there and he asked the kid you know are you wearing it like a true scotsman and lunged uh for his growing area so then he gets his brother and then he 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 has him drink gin. He he takes him upstairs. It says um dragged him upstairs, but what that means is he forcibly convinced him to go upstairs. And then he and then he said, hey, let's watch some gay porn together, you know. And th there's that famous video of of, of Mirza Masur Ahmed where he says uh, internets and pornographies, and he tells Amni, this is all you guys do all day. It, instead of doing good stuff, you're on the internet messing around. Uh, and it's true. Masur knows what, what, what happened in Rubwa, what, what he was there. You know, he, uh, Mirza Masur Ahmed is the first generation of Rubwa boys. Remember that, because he was born in 1950. So he's the first generation coming out of Rubwa. So anyhow, uh, Han's going to appeal it. 
Um, and then he, he was expelled from his party with immediate effect. Um, and then they're like, well, if he does a year, uh, then he can never be a politician ever again. And I don't think he can ever be a politician again. Okay, they've asked him to resign. Um, you know, and then so as he's watching pornography with his kid, he's touching on him, touching his feet, his legs. Oh, this is just uh, craziness. And, and he scared the kid, he scared and shocked. But uh, Imran Ahmed Khan, you know, he mentioned in a speech that he had a special relationship with Zafrullah Khan. And I'm sure that this is learned behavior from the Khalifa, from the second Khalifa. Zafrullah Khan was his boyfriend. They were doing it all together. There's even a photo of Zafrullah Khan giving him a massage in public. You can look that one up. Um, they would just see the second Khalifa and start massaging him in public. That's how weird these guys are, um, holding hands together, laying on down on top of each other, you know. Um, so I think Imran Ahmed Khan was, I think he was born 1970-ish or 71, 72. So if that's the case, he was six, seven, eight years old and around Zafrullah Khan. So that's probably where all this happened. And remember, Zafrullah Khan is the connection uh, where he lived. Um, that's where Mr. Thayer Ahmed ended up living. I think it was real close to the Fuzzle Mosque, uh, Fuzzle Temple. For the Amdia community. Um, and that's where Nidha was raised. So all of this is happening in the same area. So, okay, let, let's see what, and then the slow caressing. And he told him to stop, he wouldn't stop. And then he started breathing hard, bro. This, this weirdo just starts, starts breathing hard. Um, the court was told, look, the police were called, but they didn't pursue the case. How weird is that? Um, Okay, then so when he found out Imran Ahmed Khan was a politician, he, he, he pressed the issue again. And um, this is where he said, hey, are you wearing your kilt like a true Scotsman? And he lunged at him. Uh, and then some guy from Pakistan says um, uh, he woke up one night, he was in Peshawar, and Imran Ahmed Khan's all over him. He had, he had drank whiskey. He was drinking that whiskey and smoking that marijuana, and he's just going crazy. Uh, I'm trying to rape him. So, so then what's funny? Okay, so so look, Han says no. I only touched his elbow, and the kid got was was upset. And I had a conversation with him about his confused sexuality. Um, the MP was found guilty up to five hours, and then all uh, he's going to be sentenced. So, uh, let's see. Yep, and then they, they commend the victim. Um, yep, this is vile and disgusting. Uh, and, and then, so check this out. Imran Ahmed Khan says, hey, can you, uh, can I uh, um, do this case anonymously? I don't want people, that there could be violence against me if they find out that I'm gay. So he didn't want to say he was gay. Um, he didn't want to say what he did. He, he, he just didn't want to use his name. So that's funny that he tried that, but his team, you know, was working overtime to help him, uh, to help his case be seen in secrecy, but it didn't work. It just didn't work out. Uh, I, I think the first day, and then, so look, did this prove he's an amity and he hasn't quit or anything? So, so that's pretty much a story from, from, from the BBC. Um, you guys can check this out. The news is all over. The news is even on, uh, um, uh, YouTube, there's other YouTube channels that are covering um, this story. It's everywhere. So feel free to check it out. And remember who his brother is. His brother is Kareem Ahmed Khan. Let me pull that one up. Um, so what's, what's interesting here is he has a, his brother is a politician, and they're married into the family of, of Mirza Tahir Ahmed. Check this out. This is his brother. He's the chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court. Um, he, he worked as a British lawyer. Um, as, as you can see, he's the brother of Imran Ahmed Khan. Uh, this guy here, right? And, and remember, he's half white and half uh, Pakistani. Their mama was white, okay? Um, so I see a lot of privilege. And this is probably why Mirza Tahir Ahmed, he married his daughter or he sacrificed his daughter and had him had her marry this guy. And we've heard he's taking a second wife, which is odd because in the UK, it's like against the law. But these guys don't care about no law. They don't care about none of that. So look, I've written the whole thing about his brother. 
So where is this going to go? What's going to happen? We don't exactly know. Um, what we know is that he's been found guilty. These people, this is what they do. You know, um, Huram Shaw was probably, and you know what? Now that I think about it, uh, Huram went to a uh, to those Hadam camps uh, when he was like 14, 15. I'm thinking somebody raped him. Someone took one, one of the one of the Marebis did something to him. Now that I think about it, um, and we know Huram was dating Wakar Ahmed Bajwa, and uh, he they, he's into all of this stuff. So I saw it everywhere as an amity. I, it's just all over the place, especially with these Rubwa guys. They're all into it. They're all, all into each other. And women are just for procreation in terms of Ahmadiyya. So uh, that's basically the story. Let me just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, check out Sky News. Uh, check me out on TikTok. In fact, here, let me show this TikTok clip. Um, yeah, let me show some of these TikToks. And then we'll be out of here. So let's see. Let me get this pulled up. Jinnah's lieutenant. Was okay. So uh, let's see. Let's see if I can share and show some of these clips from TikTok. Uh, here we go. So Charlie Muhammad Zakuma Khan, with whom I grew up and had a very close relationship. He has been declared a non-Muslim. Jinnah's lieutenant was Sir Charlie Muhammad Zakuma Khan. With whom I grew up and had a very close relationship. And I got other ones. Check this one out. The jury was told Mr. Khan forced the teenager to drink gin, pushed him onto a bed, and asked him to watch pornography before touching his feet and legs. The victim then fled. A conservative party. All right, and we got this one. Okay, maybe it was, a, yep, yep. So here it is. Check out the TikTok. Check out the Instagram. Um, and that is basically it. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is all. Asalaamu Alaikum and peace out.